Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today might be a little bit different to co compare to other videos because I was actually a weekend away when the news came out of this and I wanted to cover it as quickly as possible. So I got my laptop, I left myself in a room and I started writing a recording. So today we are going to take a quick look at Curiosity's discovery on Mars. The signs of life he found again. So Curiosity is, a, for those that don't know, it's a Mars rover. It's like five years on Mars now and it was only intended to last for one and a half, I believe. So it's there for five years now, doing research, examining rocks, looking around, driving around, seeing how different places look, uh, exploring possible areas for landing in the near future or long future, depending how it goes. And it did multiple discoveries already, like that there were river beddings on Mars, so places where water used to flow. Uh, what else did he discover? He discovered some methane leftovers in the soil. He discovered silicon deposits in the soil and a lot more. But today we are going to focus on the most recent and probably most important discovery so far. So the discovery actually is, uh, he was sent down a river bedding that I spoke out just before. He was sent down one to take a close look and examine some rocks. And in one of those rocks, he drilled a hole examined the compounds inside his rock, and one of those compounds was methane. Methane is a very simple compound, but it's also a very important one, because it's an organic compound, which means it decays over time if it isn't very protected. In this case, it was protected by the rock. And it also means that there has been a biological process which created the methane. Because all of the methane on Earth is created by bi biological processes. The most, most known example of it would be farts. Farts are the biggest cause of methane. So, sign of methane on Mars means there has been life on Mars, but there is more to it. Clo up and clo other experiments on the work, there were more discoveries, more gases including sulfuric gases. Sulfuric gases most occur when more uh, complicated organic compounds decay. They have a really nasty acidic smell. So at least there is sulfur or mass, we don't know how much, but the sulfuric gases are also a sign that there might have been life on Mars which is very phenomenal and there are more and more signs coming that there has been life on Mars or at least that the recipe for life on Mars has also been there but it just didn't evolve for some reason like it did here on Earth. So that's the whole gist of the discovery. Down below in the description you will find a link towards a separate towards a Reddit article that compacts everything and I will link the two NASA related articles that they released yesterday I believe to show, so that you can, guys can read the bits yourself. I only went quickly over it because like I said I'm a weekend away and I don't have my stuff with me but like yeah science doesn't wait. Anyway guys thank you for watching this quick short video if you didn't subscribe yet, please consider subscribing because I'm planning to do this more often, at least weekly that, uh, with a simple presentation like this. Take a look at some scientific research, more recent, bit older, and in the end I want to work it up to more full-fledged uh, scientific videos, maybe some experiments and stuff like that. So consider subscribing. Thank you already for watching and I hope to see you guys next time again.